Hi, and welcome back to Pregnancy Pearls with me, Dr. Plenty. Today, we're going to talk about coronavirus from the standpoint of pregnancy. And I know you've seen a lot of things on social media or maybe on the news about coronavirus in general, but we're going to talk about it specific to pregnancy. So first off, coronavirus is a type of RNA virus that originated um, in China. So they think it originated from either bats or the animal pangolin. Have you ever seen a pangolin? To me, it looks like a big giant armadillo, um, but either way, it possibly originated from the meats of one of those two animals. And from there, it caused uh, coronavirus um, or COVID-19. Now, there are different strains of coronavirus that have happened throughout history. So we are not new to the name coronavirus, but specifically COVID-19 and how um, virulent it has been. Um, that is why now it's in the media. And so obviously the first um, time we heard about COVID-19 specifically was in December of 2019. And since then, it has gone through the U.S. and other major countries um, across the world. So now it is considered a pandemic. So it has been known to um, cause um, hundreds of deaths, um, some of which are in the U.S. But when we look at pregnancy um, and who is more at risk for um, serious illness or death during coronavirus, um, fortunately, pregnant women do not seem to be in that group. Um, we have seen cases of pregnancy in the U.S. of uh, patients with coronavirus. Most of those patients present with very mild symptoms. Most of them were concerned they had coronavirus. Um, most presented for other reasons, um, complained of symptoms or told of an exposure, got tested and they came back positive. There are some people in pregnancy that have gotten serious illness, um, but not very many reported deaths. Um, as you know, that there has been um, one reported case in London of a baby uh, diagnosed with coronavirus 36 hours after birth. Um, now, with that being said, we don't know enough about the virus to know how exactly it affects pregnancy. Um, it doesn't seem to behave like the flu in that the flu can cause very serious illness in pregnancy. Um, as I said before, COVID-19 hasn't seemed to cause as serious of a condition in pregnancy. Um, however, the data is still lacking on that. Um, we haven't seen any, any um, birth defects uh, with COVID-19 in pregnancy, but obviously it's a very new virus. So um, the biggest thing about COVID-19 um, in pregnancy is one, it can put you at risk for preterm delivery like any other virus. Pregnant women do not seem to be more predisposed or high risk of getting it, um, but if you do get it, um, you can have an increased risk of preterm delivery. You can have symptoms that include cough. 65% um, of people present with a fever. Um, shortness of breath happens in 40 to 50% of people. Um, some people, very rarely, meaning 10%, um, also present with um, abdominal pain and diarrhea. And then, of course, if you're severely ill, you can have severe shortness of breath um, in addition to um, your cough. <clears throat> so those are symptoms of COVID-19, and you can see they're very similar to symptoms of the flu. So how would you know if you had COVID-19 or the flu? Well, you really can't. I mean, there's a, a lot of different, uh, you know, diagrams that say, oh, uh, well, the flu presents with uh, fevers, chills, and body aches. Um, but if you have coronavirus, you can have those same exact symptoms. So the difference is, one, um, the flu in pregnancy always needs to be, if you have a flu-like symptoms, you need to tell your um, obstetrician, um, you need to get swabbed and you need to be put on Tamiflu because pregnant women can get very sick with the flu. Uh, number two, you all should, always should get vaccinated for the flu to decrease your risk of getting the flu. Um, three, if you have people that have been exposed to coronavirus, um, if you have people that have been tested positive, um, if you've personally been exposed, um, or you have a new onset cough and symptoms in this um, pandemic, you should contact your OB and find out what steps to take to get tested. Now, getting tested has been a burden um, in the U.S. because testing is slowly been rolling out. 
Um, my hospital that I work at now in Houston, Texas, um, they now just have testing. But the protocol here is that you will go through your local health department, um, get a screen, and based on that screen, they would tell you whether or not you needed to go to a designated place to get testing. And then obviously if a physician um, thought that you had severe disease and you were in the hospital, testing can be done inpatient as well. Um, some states um, do have drive-through testing. Okay, it's only a few states. I know New York is um, towing up to do drive-through testing, uh, and obviously there's testing in Washington. Um, but I don't know if a lot of other states have rolled that out yet, and obviously that's something that's going to be uh, progressive. Um, right now, my state does not have that. So the safest thing to do is if you have symptoms, if you've been exposed, um, contact your OB and ask them where you can get screened because that will vary um, depending on the state and the city that you're in. Now, let's talk about coronavirus and what happens if you get coronavirus um, and um, you're hospitalized. So, you get coronavirus and you are severe enough to be hospitalized, most likely you have severe shortness of breath and upper respiratory um, infection. Um, pregnant women, if you get coronavirus um, and you end up progressing to severe case, um, pregnant women do have a decreased respiratory reserve, which means that we don't have the same lung capacity or we ability to take a deep breath as we did before we were pregnant. And so pregnant women that have uh, respiratory compromise would need to be monitored very, very closely. But like I say, most pregnant women are not getting severe disease right now. Does it cross the placenta? We don't know. So the case in London that showed uh, the baby born uh, with coronavirus, come to find out that baby tested positive 36 hours later. And um, the baby could have contracted coronavirus just by passage through the birth canal. So we don't know if the baby got it through the birth canal, if the baby got it while um, the baby was inside the uterus, or if the baby got it by breathing in the mom's respiratory uh, droplets, or the mom coughed or sneezed. Um, so we don't really know. Um, the cases in China, there's a short case study that's out um, that shows nine pregnant women between 36 and 39 weeks that delivered. Um, they were coronavirus positive and hospitalized. Um, all nine of them had C-sections. All nine of their babies tested negative for coronavirus. Um, so we just don't have enough cases yet to know uh, whether or not um, you know, these babies are at risk um, all nine of those women did get amniotic fluid samples through amniocentesis that were negative. They got placental biopsies, which were also negative, um, in addition to their babies testing negative. So, so it doesn't look like it's necessarily transplacental. Um, it just looks like the major risk of coronavirus is um, your risk of preterm labor and respiratory compromise um, to mom. Okay, Breastfeeding. Can we breastfeed with coronavirus? Yes, um, we still recommend that you breastfeed even if you get coronavirus. Um, we do recommend that moms wear a mask if they have coronavirus um, and obviously uh, make sure you are cleaning the outside of the breast um, before um, the baby is attached to the breast or you're pumping um, to make sure that we decrease the risk of droplets going through um, uh, uh, going into the breast milk. Um, the studies in China on um, that small population of pregnant women which there are only about 30 or so um, with that with the study that showed uh, expression of breast milk um, and none of the breast milk had uh, positive coronavirus test results. So it doesn't look like it passes through the breast milk, but again, um, the studies are very limited and obviously the data will be ongoing for this. Um, right now, I want you to try your hardest to relax because realistically, I know that this is a pandemic and it's spreading, but this can be contained, okay? And so I don't want you to walk around in fear. I want you to be prepared. Okay, and the way you prepare yourself is to do a few things. One, the CDC has already told us um, to practice um, social distancing. What does that mean? So that means that you only go places you absolutely necessarily have to go. Um, you stay indoors when you possibly can. Um, don't gather in large groups. Uh, now the government and the CDC are both urging us not to gather in groups over 10, okay, it was over 50, now it's over 10. 
Um, and obviously every week it could be something new, okay? So pay attention to the recommendations by the CDC. Go to the cdc.gov um, to get the latest information about the things you can do. But right now, social distancing, less than a group of 10, okay? Two, make sure you're staying within six feet of people, okay? If you have to work, you know, try to practice social distancing while you're at work and staying within six feet um, of, um, of people. Um, also, make sure you're sanitizing um, all surfaces, um, surfaces in your house, surfaces at your workplace. Um, if you are going into work and not doing work virtually, wipe down your keyboard, wipe down your mouse, wipe the door handles, um, make sure you're wiping down the surfaces of your desk. Um, also, if you have a cough um, or fever or you think you're getting sick, stay home, call your OB and let them know um, and they will tell you uh, what you need to do for supportive care or uh, what you need to do to get testing if you have significant enough symptoms, okay? Three, wipe down surfaces that you commonly use. The steering wheel, wipe it down. Your keys, wipe your keys or lice all your keys to try to disinfect your keys. Um, your door handles, as I said before. Um, your cell phone, we lay our cell phone down everywhere. We pick it up and put our cell phones in our hands. Um, so we wanna make sure that we are wiping our cell phones um, often with a Clorox wipe. And then obviously you want to wash your hands um, for 20 seconds. Um, if you don't have uh, access to a sink readily and you're touching a lot of things, obviously make sure you, you uh, use hand sanitizer um, to disinfect your hands um, when all possible, okay? Obviously, Coronavirus is affecting healthcare in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of physicians are scaling down on the amount of people they see every day and the amount of people they have in the waiting room to try to accommodate um, the regulation of having no more than 10 people gathered in a space at a time. So please don't get upset if your OB um, tells you that they're spacing your visits. If they're spacing your visits, that means they're, they're not concerned and that you are safe and they think that your pregnancy is healthy enough. Obviously, if you have concerns like you don't feel your baby moving or you're having contractions, call your OB so you can get in for a problem visit, okay? But your routine visits will probably be spaced out, okay? If you're seeing a maternal fetal medicine specialist for high-risk concern, you will likely still see them if you have a concern, okay? Your screening ultrasounds for routine people will probably be spaced out. And please don't bring people to your appointments, okay? Um, we are trying to limit the number of people um, in clinics. Um, some hospitals are allowing you a certain number of visitors. Some hospitals aren't allowing visitors, especially those hospitals that may have cases. Um, some people are not even allowed to bring visitors in the delivery with them anymore. So contact your OB, see what regulations they have in place so you can be prepared before you go to the office. I would hate for your spouse to have taken off work to go with you to an appointment and then they not be allowed in. So make sure you find out, um, go online and access your OBGYN's uh, website to see if they have any protocol um, uh, drawn out um, or you can always uh, email or call your OB's office just to see if they have any stipulations on your next um, OB visit. So don't assume that everything is going to stay routine. Uh, make sure you're proactive with that, okay? Well, that is pretty much all I have. I'll try to give updates as they come. Um, everything is changing every single day with COVID-19. Um, like I say, just be safe. Don't worry, there's not as many cases out there. Um, the media is um, out there and it does seem like uh, you're gonna walk outside and get infected. That is not the case, but we do want you to be safe because it's very difficult to know who, who has it and who doesn't, right? You're not around everybody all the time, so you don't know everybody's symptoms. So you just need to be safe and practice safe precautions. Until next time, thanks for tuning in to Pregnancy Pearls with me. Please click subscribe below so you can get all of my latest videos as they come. And also feel free to follow me on Facebook as well as Instagram. Thanks for now. Bye.